So we're given the problem that a particle moves along a line so that its velocity is given by v of t equals negative t cubed plus 2t squared plus 2 to the negative t. And we want to know for what values of t is the speed of the particle increasing. And so that word speed is going to be very important. If, they had, if the question had said velocity, our answer is actually going to be different. So let's look at the difference between the two. Now, the speed will be in the velocity, excuse me, the velocity will be increasing wherever the derivative is positive. And as you can see, we have the derivative here, which is just uh, a result of our derivative rules, negative 3t squared plus 4t minus ln of 2 over 2 to the t, if you like to do it that way, which is fine. It's just a chain rule. So there's our derivative. And what I want to do is actually take a look at the plot of v of t, and then we'll also plot the derivative in there to see how the two work together. So here's the plot of our function. And we can really clearly see that it's increasing in this section right here. So let's talk about how we'd find that. That's where the velocity, so this is the plot of our velocity. That, uh, so let's talk about how we find where our velocity is increasing. Well, we could do that by plotting our, our derivative, which again is the acceleration which was negative, <coughs> excuse me, 3t squared. I'm doing this in Desmos, but this could also be done on a graphing calculator. Um, so this is just for demonstration purposes. And then 2 raised to the negative t times ln of 2. And there's our derivative. Now what we can see in this is that these points match up perfectly. Notice the 0 0.177. That's where our acceleration is zero, and that's where we have a turning point. Also here, 1.256, 1.256, and right in between, our acceleration is positive. Therefore, we have an increasing velocity. So we do want to include that interval. So if we look at the original problem here, we know we want to go 0.177 to 1.256. So we've already got it narrowed down to D or E. So let's talk about this interval here, because here's where the difference between this saying speed versus velocity comes in. If this had said velocity, we would be done. And it would be answer D, because the velocity, we can see it in both graphs, is increasing from 1.77 to 1.256. To now, this thing gets a little tricky because we're talking about where the velocity, excuse me, where the speed is increasing. And the speed is the magnitude of velocity. So what you would want to do with your graphing calculator is graph the absolute value of your velocity. Because look at what happens here. Notice that our speed is increasing right here from 2.057 on. That's the part that wouldn't be included if we were just talking about where velocity is increasing. Speed, however, is also increasing from 2.057 on to infinity. So if we go back to our original problem here, we see that E is our correct answer because 0.177 to 1.256 is where the velocity is increasing. 2.057 to infinity, the velocity is actually decreasing on that interval, but the speed is increasing. What's happening is you can think of the velocity increasing in the opposite direction. So this might be where, the, where our object is going up. And this could be where our object is going down, but it's still a place where our velocity, excuse me, where our speed is increasing.